Uh, game number two here in Pindi, the second of five one days, and how the surface plays, we'll find out later. But most importantly, to my left, the uh, ICC match referee Chris Board, uh, captain of Pakistan, Barbara Azam, and Tom Latham for New Zealand. All set and ready for the toss. Barbara has the point. It's Heads is the call. Tail again. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat of match number one. You won the toss. What are you going to do? Uh, same. We have a, we have a ball first. Uh, Any particular reason? Yes, we talk about Pindi and batting second and r sort of chasing is the way to go. But do you find anything different in the surface? Uh, to be honest, not any difference. Uh, pitch look like the uh, same. Uh, and uh, we will uh, try to uh, utilize for six, uh, 10 hours. And uh, uh, yeah, we try to... Uh, Take early wickets and put pressure on them. Any changes in your side from the first one? Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, three changes. Okay, do you remember Unfortunately, them? Unfortunately, Sean is not playing. He has a little bit injury. Uh, uh, Abdullah Shafiq is playing. Uh, Sama playing. Uh, uh, Shadab is resting. Uh, Shaheen is not playing. Uh, Sanula is debut. Because of uh, work in uh, or over overload is so we, d we decide to rest him and uh, uh, rotation policy. So that's why we are trying to uh, 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 try two different combinations. I mean, it makes sense also because in the lead into the World Cup, there's this and then probably a few more assignments after as you head into the World Cup. As a captain, how important is it for you to try different things during this series so that you can implement them if required in the World Cup? A very, uh, uh, we will try to uh, different combination. Yes, uh, we have uh, two big uh, event coming up, so we will try two different combination, different players, different. Uh, uh, combination for bar fast bowling, different combination in uh, in the batting. We had uh, tried to different batsmen in the middle order. So yeah, we have a very important series. Uh, so we will try to uh, utilize as soon as as uh, possible. Right, Barbara. Thank you and good luck for the game. Thank you. Thank you. So Tom, two out of two not going your way. Would you have done anything different? Uh, we probably would have bowled first as well, but um, obviously got some information from the last game. The wicket looks, uh, you know, reasonably similar. So I guess, you know, we, we weren't far away in that batting innings. Uh, just hopefully we can make those little adjustments uh, first up. Well, you say you weren't far enough. 288. How many short do you think you actually were? Uh, I don't think we were too far away, to be fair. I think, um, you know, to, to put 290 on the board, uh, you know, a couple of boundaries here and there, and all of a sudden you're up over that 300 mark. And I guess for us, it's just trying to apply our blueprint as best as we can. And uh, as I said, we've got some information on how these surfaces play and, and how they're going to go about things. So hopefully we can make those adjustments first up. Well, Tom Young, uh, Will Young came to the party and Daryl Mitchell with a good turn as well. How much confidence does that give you in terms of your batting firing for that big score? Yeah, it's obviously those guys played fantastically well. I think the way they set the innings up at the top of the order, uh, it wasn't easy first up. And then I guess the way they were able to absorb a little bit of pressure and then, uh, you know, the partnerships are, are key things in our batting unit. And we managed to, to build a few of them throughout the innings. But uh, I guess hopefully, uh, you know, today we can, we can go a little bit better. Changes to your side? Yeah, we've got two changes. So Adam Milne and Blair Tickner miss out. And um, Henry Shipley and... Jimmy Nation, come in. Well done. <laughs> Anyways, good luck and thanks for chatting. Yes, thank us. you very much. Right, the news from the centre is that Pakistan have won the toss and they will have a bowl. And there's plenty of talk around the surface. Butch, alongside, you've been expecting this surface. What do you make of it? Well, two days ago we had a surface that looked cracked, looked a little dry, looked nothing like the uh, run fest pitches that we saw in uh, the PSL only a month or so ago. Uh, and this pitch, if anything, Arouge, looks even drier and even more cracked. If we can get in um, a little bit tighter here on some of these cracks, very mosaic, some of them move a little bit. Um, we're getting to that sort of stage of the season now, the back end of the season where, where everything is getting old and tired. Not you and I, obviously, but the pitches, the surfaces um, are starting just to show that little bit of wear. And because of that, um, Pakistan were fantastic, I thought, in the back end of the innings where they had the, the last 10 overs or so with Harris Ralph, uh, Nassim and, and Shaheen Sharafridi bowling a lot of cutters, slower ball cutters into a length, not looking for Yorkers. And when they were doing that, the New Zealand batsmen were just unable to accelerate, couldn't get hold of the ball at all. They only scored at six and a half runs and over in that last 10. And that's what cost them a 300 plus score. And I think that's going to be critical here once again today because of that dryness and because of the lack of pace onto the ball. You really got to make the most of your power play. That's going to be the key. You've got to come out. You've got to go a bit harder with the power play because by the time you get down to the last 10, you are not going to smash a great bowlers at the death on a pitch where there is no pace coming onto the back.
Right, put you on the spot. Mm. Latham said they were not far behind from what they thought was a good score. They got 288. What do you reckon is the magic number? Well, I, I, I think it's going to be more difficult today than it was um, a couple of days ago. Uh, so I think sort of around 290 is going to be a similar. I think they were 20 short two days ago. Today, I think the, the score that they made um, two days ago might actually be good enough. Uh, but again, I, I stress to the point that that power play and also up to around about the 30th, 35th over, you've really got to be on your metal to score as many as you possibly can. Right, you've heard from Butch and what looks like it's going to be an interesting surface, we'll only find out.